Mm -hmm. friend Dale with those fire ants to get right Dale! Ah! Oh, man. Dale, you Come went too far now. this time. Come back here. Come here. I'm going to kick your ass. No. No. Howdy, howdy, people of the internet. My name is Orchestrion. You can call me Orc for short, Orchestrion for long. Ever wonder what it would be like to play as Hank Hill in Team Fortress 2? Well, here's your chance. Today, we're going to be analyzing the character of Hank Hill from King of the Hill, no relation, and we're going to viably build a loadout designed to emulate him in TF2. Three things we gotta tackle. Class, cosmetics, and weapons. We want to capture the essence of Hank, from what he looks like, his skills and abilities, and the way he would play. To begin our Badlandian cosplay of the Senior Assistant Manager of Strickland Propane, we need to start with choosing a class for our faithful foundation. Hank Hill is a proud resident of Texas, and luckily for us, there's a merc who's canonically from a humble Texas town called Bee Cave, the Engineer. Engie's a soft-spoken southerner whose overall vibe feels the closest to Hank's character. But, you know, something is missing. There's a crucial part to Hank, and his role in pop culture as a whole, that we can't really fit in with Engineer. Hank Hill is obsessed with propane and propane accessories. I mean, Pyro would be perfect to represent Hank's passion, but falls short compared to Engie in the character department. If only there was a cosplay way to get the best of both worlds. Introducing the Cosplay Companion. Sometimes when a character is still missing a part of themselves, even when a class has been chosen, we'll add an option through this new segment to play alongside a friend to cosplay together. A cosplay duo! For Hank Hill's cosplay companion then, Pyro will take on the mantle of your propane accessory. Now that we have our bases, let's dress the engineer up so that we at the very least resemble the assless chap of Arlen. For simplicity's sake, we'll start from the top and work our way down. To replicate Hank's haircut and glasses, we're going to equip the Antarctic eyewear and paint them Radigan Conacher Brown. Hank's got shortcut brown hair and a square pair of glasses that these goggles vaguely resemble. Moving on, you'll notice that Engineer's model has his eyes hidden by default. Anyone familiar with the game might know where I'm going with this, but if you're new here, prepare yourself. Behold! The binoculars! Paint them salmon and frighten your enemies with your cursed unnatural eyes! It's actually kind of grotesquely perfect how the binoculars' bug eyes mesh with the Antarctic eyewear to resemble Hank's own sleepy lids. For our shirt cosmetic, we won't be referencing Hank's iconic white t-shirt, but instead his uniform at Strickland Propane. He wears a literal blue-collared shirt with a visible pocket. The tools of the trade will give us that pocket, and also give Hank a set of tools that he can bring when he teaches shop at Bobby's school. Try to be on blue team, as the cosplay is a little less obvious on red. First up for the pro pie bro is the Propaniac. Feel like I don't really need to explain this one, so instead I'm going to take the opportunity to complain about elite grade items. WHY, Valve? WHY? For the first time in this series, our cosmetics aren't going to take all three slots. The only other one you need to complete the Pro-Pie Bro, or the Propane Accessory, is the Backpack Broiler. This is your Propane Accessory, this is the literal one. For that third cosmetic slot, you can choose whatever you want. I highly recommend the Filamental, because it really fits the vibe, or even that one Neon Annihilator eye set I can't really remember off the top of my head. That one would also be good too. I'll always be rocking my signature strange hypno eyes though. Alright kid, you look the part, now you gotta act the part, and for that we need to pick out our weapons. We have to find the weapon in each category that best represents Hank Hill. Starting with our primary, I won't lie, this was a little tricky to choose at first. Unlike his marksman of a sun, Hobbit. Hank Hill has the aim of a stormtrooper when a gun is put in his hands. However, there is one aspect of Hank's character that can weed out our primary. Hank plays acoustic! He's pretty good at it too, practically a killer guitarist. Engineer's Frontier Justice gives us Del Conagher's own acoustic straight out of Meet the Engineer for its default taunt. Now your engineer is practically a killer guitarist. Actually, no, your NG is literally a killer guitarist. Watch out. Ah! Moving on to our secondary, we uh, don't have a lot of options. Hank doesn't have a robotic arm or any sort of handgun that he owns, so, um, I guess that just leaves the Wrangler. Hmm. I mean, there's an episode where Hank gets addicted to a video game. Yeah, I guess, you know what, sure, no, why not? Use your Wrangler to go play some propane. For our melee, this was a close call, but I think I'm gonna go with the Southern Hospitality over stock. You've got a good and reliable set of tools that don't need no goddamn random crits to get the job done right. 
They're a set of tools that are dangerous enough to get a hill suspended from school property, since the wrench causes your victim to bleed on hit. Finally, the fire vulnerability can harken back to the Season 3 premiere, since Hank really needs to be careful around fire since his survival at the Megalo Mart explosion. To round out the loadouts, let's breeze through the weapons for our cosplay companion real quick. For primary, you can basically go with any flamethrower that's not the degreaser or the phlogistonator. Why? You can't grill meat with a fire extinguisher, and phlogiston is a bastard gas. I personally recommend the stock flamethrower though to maximize your propane power. For secondary, we're choosing the gas passer, because it's a, a can of gas, like propane is. I am not going to elaborate on this thing any further, so let's move on. For melee, we're going with the home wrecker to complete our transformation into a pie bro. Don't get me wrong, your primary function is to grill some french fries, but we might as well pick it up just in case you need to smash apart an electric stove to assert your grilling superiority. And there we have it. That's how you build a Hank Hill loadout in TF2. Real quick, let's go over the pros and cons. The Frontier Justice is a fantastic side grade, whose crit acquisition mechanic gives your Hank Dell a near unrivaled source of burst damage. Crit shotguns are terrifying, and someday I'll make that KGB panic attack combo a reality. Mark my words! The Wrangler is widely regarded as Engineer's best weapon, and I'm inclined to agree. Although I must admit that much like Sticky Spam, my brain can't seem to comprehend how to do it right. Anyway, your sentry gun survivability has just been jacked up the wazoo. Finally, not only do you have the Engineer weapon that turns your sentry into a bullet-spewing jawbreaker, but if you get a buddy to take on the mantle of propane accessory, your sentry nest is going to be practically immortal. Deny Ubers, reflect away rockets and pipes, and make every enemy spy regret installing the video game. Well, none of your engineer weapons are bad. NG's kit is pretty solid, barring one piece of trash. The Frontier Justice and Wrangler can be real antithetical when used together. You're pairing the shotgun that unlocks its true potential when your buildings are destroyed with the device that makes your buildings unbelievably tanky. For that reason, I think the Wrangler clashes with the Frontier Justice instead of supporting it. You'd think the Southern Hospitality would go the extra mile in making your loadout the ultimate insult to spies everywhere, but in all honesty, with your cosplay companion, the upside becomes pretty irrelevant. To put it into perspective, having a spy bleed on hit so you can track him down isn't going to be that useful when your propane accessory is already burning him to a crisp. Finally, your Pybro is using one of the worst weapons in the entire game. Your propane accessory is going to be propaneless for 60 freaking seconds. And unless all of France decides to invade your engineer nest, your Pybro isn't going to be dealing much fire damage to actually recharge the damn thing. Why, Valve? Why? <sighs> Above all, though, I hope you folks have fun dressing up as Hank Hill and carrying on his routine and rustic spirit through this silly little hat game. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more, and leave a comment down below for any suggestions for a character loader that you want to see me build. Seriously, guys, I just hit 100 subs. It means a lot, and I hope my content brightens up your day, too. Well, until next time. <laughs>